Looking like you're having a lot of fun out there. All right, and hopefully you are too, and hopefully you're staying safe because it is really hot out there today, and not just these temperatures, which are in the mid to low 90s, but our heat index has been pretty brutal already today. We've seen up to 113 at one point today for some of you, and right now we're at 102 in Fort Myers, other areas approaching 108, Bonita Springs, 109, Arcadia. You've got to be careful here over the next couple of hours. We're kind of in that peak heat of the day. Give it a couple more hours, and we should start seeing these things back off, but as we're doing this right now and dealing with the heat, make sure you're going inside, cooling off and taking some breaks. We definitely could use some rain to cool us off, uh, although it kind of put a little damper on some of our 4th July plants. Not doing so. We're only seeing a few little spot showers here off inland. Here's the problem, though, is what we're seeing for the rest of our evening as we're getting ready for fireworks. I do see a little bit more of an aggression with the latest model runs as far as that chance for showers here this evening. Not for five and six. You may see a few showers here, but what happens here as we get into 730, we've got this complex here to the north and you notice a few showers here off to our south. Them trying to conjoin together here as we get towards that nine o'clock hour. This could be bringing us some thunderstorms right in time for fireworks. Take a look here, 930 to 10 o'clock. That's moving in here to Lee County and continue to push out to the west to the Gulf as we get into 11 o'clock tonight. So I think we are going to be battling some scattered showers and thunderstorms for the evening time right around sunset through around midnight tonight. So if you're planning to run your own fireworks, well, definitely keep an eye to the sky, check radar and keep yourself updated so that you can stay indoors anytime there's lightning around. If you don't have those uh, uh, those plans for today, head out to Cape Coral. Of course, red, white and boom is going to be going on. Of course, we're going to continue to monitor closely any chance for those storms here as we get right towards that time for fireworks, which is set to take off at 930 tonight. Now heading into tomorrow, we are still looking at some pretty strong heat, especially in our inland communities. Heat advisory already out for Glades, Hendry, and as well as Collier County. Now, we will get some relief here on the coast in the way of some showers, but we will still get pretty warm around the lunchtime. So, continue to use caution tomorrow. Make sure you're not getting overheated. Let's talk about that rain chance for tomorrow. The sea breeze kicks in here by 1130 in the morning. We could already start seeing our first showers of the day. Things really take off in our mid-afternoon compared to today. Tomorrow we are going to be seeing scattered thunderstorms here right along I-75. Pretty much uh, along the coast in I-75 is where they're going to set up and start out. Once they collapse, because I do expect them to overall be pretty slow and moving and may even uh, kind of stall out, could collapse and then will eventually push off further inland here as we get into your evening. So 5, 30, 6 o'clock and then we'll watch for the late night as those will try to push back towards the coast between 8 to 10 o'clock. So for tomorrow, looks like we will get a better opportunity for rain, especially in those mid afternoon hours. Now going into Saturday morning, those showers kind of redevelop here along the Gulf with the land breeze, and then we get that sea breeze or onshore flow early in the morning, which can spark showers in our early part of the day, which we expect for us as we get to Saturday morning. Good thing is, though, is although we are seeing some showers, we're not seeing any tropical systems. The two that we are watching, Hurricane Barrel and that little disturbance behind it, they're going to be pushed well to our south and west because of an area of high pressure. It's that area of high pressure that's keeping us warm and we are going to watch as it does move by us on Saturday. It could again induce that early morning sea breeze or that onshore flow could cause some early day showers. Sunday we'll look for another chance for scattered thunderstorms. Temperatures still warm at 92 degrees, but then we're going to kind of hold right around the lower 90s. We kind of see that typical setup with the sea breeze kicking in in the mid afternoon with showers close to the coast moving inland in the afternoon. That's why you see your afternoon highs closer towards the lower 90s as we do get into the next week. So for today and the next two days, that's when we're going to be dealing with really the highest of heat. We're going to be right around the mid 90s.